everybody, and welcome back to the All Right Podcast. Remember, it's not the best podcast, but it's not the worst podcast. It's just an All Right Podcast. Guys, I have a special guest here, right? And, like, <laughs> guys, you know already, I, li- I make comedy sketches. Ruth, I've been making comedy sketches for, like, five years, right? But they haven't just, they haven't yeah. gone to where you've gone. I just enjoy doing right. them because it's, like, a hobby. Now, yeah. this this right here, I, I remember saying that I want to get on as much Irish celebrities as possible. And even if you're like, oh, jeez, I'm not an Irish celebrity. celebrity. I, I think you are because cause you have the followers for it and it's Ireland and people watch your videos and the comedy sketch are very, very yeah. funny. So that to me, they are. Um, but um, please introduce yourself for the people that don't know or haven't heard yet, please. Okay. I, my name is Ruth Leonard, a.k.a. Totally Ruthless. And I started comedy sketch back a couple of years ago doing uh, Slim and World. Mm-hmm. And it went somewhere like 15 million or it just went ridiculously crazy like and I have no idea how it happened yeah. and after that I, you see I'm 43 Anthony so and I live in Drogheda I'm mm. from a small town nobody really knew who I was or what yeah. was going on and then all of a sudden it just went completely crazy and I think with my age being 43 I think I relate to a lot of women my age that are yeah. going through a stage in their life where they've had enough and they just want to have a laugh mm-hmm. I think yeah. that's why I got the following that I did at the age I was well mm-hmm. you know because yeah. I love the likes of Enya and all them, but they're all very young in their 20s and yeah. completely different from me. Like, mm-hmm. I'm much older. I could be their mother, like, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I think that I have a different following. I have a different reach of yeah. people, and I think I'm lucky there, you know? Mm-hmm. And what's, yeah. what's that like? What's that like, like, waking up? You, you go and do a video. And when you, sorry, when you done that video, were you expecting that response? Or were you just expecting, like, a few friends no! and gas and the giggle? No like, way! Yeah. Not in a million years. I, like, I was going through a really bad depression. Mm-hmm. and me and my husband had separated and then we got back and then everything mm-hmm. was doing well and I lost my job and I lost my home I'm just being honest I spoke about yeah, this yeah, before yeah. so it was nothing yeah. new you know mm-hmm. and I went to a friend's house one night I said that's rude I'll take them off sorry <laughs> I um, went to a friend's house one night of course too much wine downloaded snapchat the idiots that we are like you know in our 40s on snapchat the state yeah. of us like <laughs> and I was like right let's do let's do this for a laugh Hang on, my daughter's waving at me. What do you want? I'm not on Zoom. Piss <laughs> off. So um, anyway, uh, yeah, so we turned on Snapchat and we got the funny filter thingy, majiggy, and we just started messing around. And then I did one and everyone was laughing. And it was like, uh, what, Ruth, you need to put that on Facebook. I was like, what? No way am I putting that on. What a guy it is. Death's like, no. Yeah. And then I did. And my daughter kind of put it together and we put it on. And that was it. It just went completely and utterly That's crazy. Bizarre. Yeah. I was like, what's going on? But no one knew it was me. Yeah. Because I had no, the filter. Because so the filter, yeah. No I, really, I know the filter. Is that the no one with the big knew. mouth and the, the voice and stuff? Yeah. And that's, that's like, literally, anybody that does that voice, I literally go, that's Roots fucking filter. That's what I think of. That's Roots filter. That's what I think of. The second like Friday. Wait, <laughs> yeah, the song and so. Um, but I do, I do want to go back to, like, the likes of childhood and so. Is this something you've always wanted to do, like, en- like entertain or get into plays or do, like, that enter? Uh, of person like or did that only happen well, later on in life no i did a lot of acting and my local theaters for years the pan- local draw the pantomime here i did it for 20 years and then pardon me then i just kind of you know got married got engaged got married mm-hmm. had children yeah life put on hold for a little right. while you know yourself life gets in the way and then i think it was just meant to be i think it, i was meant to come back yeah. <laughs> even if i am in my 40s like yeah. i think it, it, it so what i did that night was a good thing and it helped me through depression and everything mm. It helped me through a lot, you know. That's, really did. Well, I do want to. I do want to talk about that in a bit, but for for now, I want to. Yeah. I want to get to know you more because this is what this podcast is: is to get to know yeah. the people and for the people as well that are watching. But um, mm-hmm. when you you said you'd done pantos and stuff like that for like twenty years, mm-hmm. what was that like? What was the, what what was the interest in that? I love to dance. I was a tap dancer. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, and you still you still got it? Was, still have it? Have you? You still oh, have yeah, it? I think yeah. so had a pair of tap shoes in a long time now but we see but i did i tap dance for years loved yeah. it loved it that's that's yeah. good it's um i i think that when people do te- i think that when people do tend to put a video that they don't they don't necessarily like uh want to get seen or known like they're like or scarlet yeah that's the ones that get the most reactions they're they're surprised and stuff like that and when yeah. when you yeah. when that video went out and it started going viral because that's what you call it viral what, yeah, was it like, yeah. what was it like for the likes of your, you said your daughter and stuff like that. What was the likes of that one oh. were going around? Did she, did she, yeah. is she okay with it now or with that start? No. What were you even like? No, she hates it. She just yeah. always say to me, why can't you just be normal? Oh, <laughs> no. like, what? what is 
normal. There's no such thing as normal. You yeah. are what you are. And I said, no, you have a funny mammy. So what? Why can't you just like work at a shop or something? And yeah. I said, <laughs> oh, God, no. no imagine. Fella, the, no, I'm not doing that. Yeah. The little fella, he's, the, he's an entertainer. He's funny. He's like himself. Yeah. It's you know? I I've seen them videos I've seen them videos in the car no. you're in the car with the side yeah. well. and he, he it was does, just one of those things yeah he did he, he plays along with it he's not sure you can't see yeah. him sure. no but when you, when you get into it, when you get into it he's like oh shit. like then you yeah, can see he's him kind of looking at me going what yeah. and, <laughs> and then when I joined TikTok he was like right that's it we're never doing anything ever again <laughs> yeah because I'd say that's weird now because kids are literally that's the biggest thing now isn't it like TikTok for oh, uh, TikTok. creative people to come on and do it and it has been out a yeah. while but. It's only I never heard of it until about pandemic. two months ago. I didn't even know what it was. It, it, since yeah. that pen, the, the pandemic has started, people have yeah. got so people creative. So creative. Yeah. And the videos that they're watching, I'm like, what the hell, man? I can't even think yeah. of stuff like that. And it's so good. Well, it's but- very entertaining. It is oh, very yeah. entertaining, though. I love scrolling through and just watching people. I've been stitches laughing. Like, yeah. and it just got me through a lot of time and everything, you know? Yeah, and it, from, yeah. from like yourself, would you, would you be there like um, on TikTok and then you look up at the clock and go, Oh shit! It's like an hour later. Oh yeah, like that. Oh my god, an hour! An hour! Yeah. It could be four hours later. Like, what the hell? Chinese, quick! No dinner. There's no nothing. Yeah. My friends are like that. Um, I have a friend. Her name is Sarah, and she'd sit in bed all day. Um, not all day, but yeah. she'd sit in bed one of the days all day and just on TikTok. And my friend James was just like, she's in there. She's in bed all day watching TikTok, just enjoying it. Oh yeah. And I do find That's myself do. doing that as well. I woke yeah. up at six o'clock in the morning yeah. before. And I looked up at the clock and it was half nine. And I was like, hold on, I have to get up out of bed. What am I doing at six o'clock in the morning? It's pretty mad. But, the days, the days that you just don't want to get out of bed. You're like, oh, yeah, I have to go exactly. lie here for a few hours and just go on TikTok. Exactly. <laughs> um, but for the likes, for the likes, yeah, characters and so. And um, that's what I'd, I'd, I'd call them the characters. Would you call them characters now? Or would you, it's just you being um, you? I think Ruthless is my alter ego. Yeah. I think Beyonce the filter, the Ruthless. Yeah, yeah. I think I get away with a lot more. <laughs> with ruthless than I yeah. would myself, yeah. Um, because no one has a clue who I and people look at it and don't know who I am and don't relate to me. But it's like it's like I can say whatever the fucking hell I am. I know, of course. Of course, yeah. <laughs> of course, yeah. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> um, I can say whatever the fucking hell I want, but Good. I find I hold back a bit more when it's just myself. Mm-hmm. I'm not as brave as I would be with my alter yeah. ego. You know. That's weird, yeah. isn't it? That's it. We have to create a character yeah. to actually go out and do yeah. things you want to do. It's so weird. And for like yeah. yourself, I, I want to ask this because I asked um, Steve O this as well, and I asked other people that are creators as well. Because yeah. because of the creativity that you have, do you find that hard to like for the likes of myself? If I'm in a nine to five day job. Monday mm. to Friday, I find it difficult to stay in them because I, I, it's not what I want to do and I just want to make, I make short films, I, mm. I want to do that and this is my new thing and I just want to keep mm. doing them things and I can't hold a nine to five day job. Um, no. Is that, is that the same for you? Difficult. Yeah, I actually finished up work last year oh. because I chased the dream and yeah. now it's what I want to do full time yeah. and it's the hardest thing I've ever done because only for my husband, I wouldn't have been able to do it because he supports us financially and whatever because mm. you know yourself, Anthony. Yeah. It's it's yeah. not the most you're not the richest person in the world when you do stuff like this. You, mm-hmm. you don't earn a lot of money. No, it's not people. You're not rich. You're yeah. far from it. Like yeah, you know, yeah. you struggle every day. Um, and yeah, I am I am unemployed now. I am doing ruthless full time, mm-hmm. so I have the time to do it. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. I find I'm doing a lot more now that I'm finished my job. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah. I work for the government, so I took a career break. So I'm mm. I have a five year career break. You know, and when 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 you done that did. Was there people around you that were like, oh, I don't think that's a good idea, and that you didn't really listen? Yeah. But there was, yeah. there has to be people. And they're the type of people that wanted to go and do their own things, and they didn't end yeah. up doing them. And and they like, do oh, no, yeah. and they're afraid. So fucking fair play to you for doing yeah. that. Um, the scariest thing in the world. I I'd swear say so. I woke up that day and I was like, oh my God, I don't have to go to work today. What am I, I going to do? There's yeah. no income coming in. Um, I have to get more sketches. And then you, I took a blank. I was like, oh my God, what are we going to do? It was just so scary. Like, And now, um, hopefully, yeah. I'm bringing out hoodies now and t-shirts and oh, stuff. Nice, so my nice. brand is coming out. Yeah. But that's now on hold because of this fucking corona yeah. shite. Like, but that, that's, but that's you, you'll, you'll get them sold. You will sell them, though. Because you have oh, a no, I know. I've loads of orders. Yeah, 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 yeah I've yeah, orders yeah. already, but I just can't get them printed. You know? Yeah. So I you have, have to open in the next couple of weeks. I, I can I see what? that you have loyal fan, loyal fans like oh, I, I call them oh uh, yeah I call fans they're people they yeah. nice comments that are like because I do look at the comments yeah. as well sometimes when I when I see your videos I like it as well and then I look at the comments and every single comment is like yeah but but there, but there is yeah. every now and again fucking them the comments. Odd fucking and I want to ask just, you as well yeah. 
what what do you do to when you first started out to towards now and mm-hmm. um, what did you do to kind of cope with that kind of stuff and um, that kind yeah. of commentary because you're getting yourself yeah. out there so i i just yeah. want to i just want to know for myself as well you know yeah there's negative and there's positive because mm-hmm. of these videos and yeah, i won't lie to you i did spend nights crying Mm-hmm. Yeah, and people called me pig head and people called me fat head and I was called horrible horrible things like yeah. you know I was death threats and everything Jesus. but you just block you block them you delete yeah. them and you just move on yeah. because if you give them the time of day they're going to keep on going they just feel. block them and don't even reply don't even reply to them just they don't exist to me anymore yeah. I, I don't look at, at negativity uh, Anthony I did it for a long time I don't do it anymore Yeah, I look at the positivity and that's it you yeah. know I wouldn't be where I am now if I didn't look like that Exactly. I didn't go towards positive. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. I, I, I think you're that, right. Shai. Yeah, I think you're, I think yeah. you're very right when that comes to that because I yeah. think that people like that, um, literally, if you do give them the time of day, you're giving them fuel. Do you know what I mean? They're getting a high yeah. off and there's this sick weirdos out there that yeah. get that from yeah. pulling other people down man, and it's bloody mm. weird. Like, it's so Yeah, strange. and they love to know that they got under your skin. Like, it's like, oh, I got under root skin. I annoyed her. Yeah. And they get pleasure out of that. And like, they're walking like, around skipping and happy. Them. They're walking around skipping happy they are. When I when I Did started like off that? making videos, um, my area where I grew up, I grew up in Clondalkin. That's my area. Hmm. So it is a rough area, you know. And um, when so I when rough I, draw that. <laughs> well, is pretty bad as well. Um, but the people around there, they didn't, they didn't, they were slag me for what I done. But when I started getting a bit like notice around the area and stuff and all, um, yeah, the, it was only the area I got that and Sligo, and that was it, like really. But yeah. um. When they start noticing, they'd be like, the people that would kind of bully me in school and do this yeah. and all that, they'd be like, all oh, right, Anto, what's the story? It can be one of your videos, can I? Yeah. And I'd be like, come here and I'll let yeah. you in the video. No. because I, No, I did. I said, yeah, come on. Oh, I, I done yeah. it because I was that's like, so look, look where you are, motherfucker. Look what you are. Yeah. You, want, you want to be a part yeah. of it now. Um, so yeah. that's what I done. But for the likes of yourself, um, has anyone ever, when you started, this, started out doing this, has they ever they doubted you? But then when you start getting the fame from it, did people step yeah. back into your life that didn't really contact you that much? When, yeah, I, yeah, I probably, I wasn't, I was nothing in school, I won't lie to you. I came yeah. from a broken family and school was second to me. I, I was never clever or like that mm-hmm. and I did go through a hard time at school. I blocked it out, it's gone. A lot of people were mean, you know yourself. And yeah, then yeah, as I yeah. grew up, still the same. But I did find after a couple of videos, I seen a couple of comments from people that I went to school with mm-hmm. and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh Ruth, you're brilliant. I'm like, I'm sorry, you made my life a living freaking hell for about yeah. four years. How could you say that to me? Like, yeah. then you're on the town and you meet them and they're like, oh my God, we love you so much and everything. And I'm like, really? It's so really? mad, isn't it? Any idea what you've done to me? Any idea what you've done to me? But yeah. I don't. I keep you my shot and say, oh, thanks very much. Yeah, that's <laughs> put my the best sunglasses thing. on and just walk away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> that's, the best, that's the best thing to do, honestly. It's not, there's no point. Um, <laughs> there's, no, there's no point. <laughs> and I, I, I do, from watching your videos, right? I do have a sense of like right now, um, if I, I don't mind sharing this, but right now I'm going through like a, a breakup and it's only been a few days mm. or so. But when, Aww. when I watch like videos, like, uh, the likes of your videos and stuff, I do tender fuck and cheers me to fuck up. And when you were making videos and you start off making videos, cause my reason was to, if there's someone out there that's, it's real sad and real down or, you know, they're not having a good day. I want to make them laugh. And I've done it. That I, I fucking don't yeah. know. I want to accomplish it now. And, um, yeah. for the likes of yourself, um, is that is that the reason why you made these videos because of what you went through as well you know what other people yeah, going to feel it did and it, um, when I started to do the videos and started to get likes and started seeing all the positive comments and people like people at home that were, that were going through the same thing or they were sick or they were in hospital had miscarriages breakups they were all coming on saying oh Ruth I was having such a shit day and now I'm just sitting here laughing having a glass of wine and I used to, I used to go to bed and go I just made these people laugh and they're after having the going through the worst time people going yeah. through cancer people who would send me pictures with no hair going through chemo sitting in the hospital with a cup of tea sending me pictures going you've no idea you're making us all laugh that's it for me see all that negative then they can all go fuck off because yeah. i don't i that's nothing to me after i hear stuff like that that yeah. must be that feeling must be so good knowing that that's what you're set out to do yeah. for your videos and, yeah. that's, what and that's what i do jesus yeah that's my main thing because I know what it's like and yeah. I love to stroll, you like yourself, scrolling through Facebook or Instagram or whatever and you have a laugh and someone, you see a certain video and you literally have a belly laugh. You know that yeah, kind of yeah, feeling yeah, and you're like, yeah. oh my God, that was just fucking, and then you follow that person and you're going through all their videos in for about two hours laughing your head off. That's what I wanted. Yeah. That's what I wanted. And you've you done, do. you, you yeah. done it. And yeah. I know it's it's not, I don't, I don't mean it in such a way, 
a way of like, it's like, oh, look at me on there. But do you do look at yourself? Are you, I know that you'd be proud of what you do, but do you kind of like, yeah, very. I can see, I can tell as well that you're, you're humble when you do it. You don't go over, yeah. go, oh, look at me, look at this, look at that. You're, you're humble. No, no. And that's good about it. It's like, it shows a normal person. It just shows a normal person, yeah. you know? Um, I would. I'd probably go and I'd, I'd be in Aldi doing my shopping or something. I'd be somewhere and someone would ask for a picture and I'd be like, eh? Yeah. Yeah. I'd be so weird. Going, me? Yeah. <laughs> you know? And yeah. I'd do that. And then, yeah, even now with the virus, because I put on more videos now because of lockdown and everything, um, I'd go out somewhere to do my shopping or whatever and I would. It'd be mental. Like, the people would be that's coming crazy. up and saying, oh my God, there's ruthless or whatever. And I'd be like, hi, oh, you know? Hi. Yeah, and stay. Just go stay with it, like. Yeah. yeah. Has Just anybody come up me. yet to try to shake? Does has anybody tried to come up yet and shake your hand or anything during this time? Someone and- tried to hug me. Someone oh. tried to hug me a couple. Of, yeah, and I was and just you like, had to tell them on. no. A normal situation, no problem. Yeah. No, yeah. hell, I'll give you a hug, but not now. Yeah. Hell, no, Jesus, I mean, with two kids at home and everything. No, I wouldn't go near yeah. anybody. No. And, and, and would you? And what way would you uh, say that? Would you say that and like kind of try to play it off funny way to go? Ah, come here, I would. Yourself. Yeah. I would, I'd laugh, and I'd say to someone at the till, yeah, this is trying to hug me, it's illegal, <laughs> you know, just yeah. laughing, and then he'd yeah. laugh, and then go off, or whatever, like, I'd just be like, oh my yeah, God, then they, they know, like, yeah, yeah. ma'am, <laughs> you're hugging strangers, I'm <laughs> like, I didn't hug anyone. <laughs> I, I, I want to ask as well, um, during the quarantine and stuff like this as well, you, you're, a, you're a mother, you know, and you're a wife yeah. as well. And what's that yeah. like What's that like for you, knowing that the kids are home all the time now? I've seen the videos, the kids are home now, and I know you love them. I know you really love them, but what's it, what's it, what's it like now since they've oh been home? God. Do you know, it, I'll tell you, it, like, it, at first it was tough, right? Yeah. Now, it's like a routine. Mm. You know they're there. Now, they never come out of their fucking rooms. So it's yeah. not like they're on top of us all the time because they're not they're playing Fortnite and on their phones and yeah. watching Vampire Diaries and whatever. I hardly even see them. That's, yeah. Yeah. I don't know why she was banging the window at me there because she never does that. Yeah. And it's just, yeah. and then even the husband, he works from home and always did. So that's no different to us, like, you know. Mm-hmm. So really, it didn't really, it didn't change that much for us. Yeah. We were very lucky. Mm. you know that they're still doing their thing my husband still does what he does he works for irish hospital supplies he's a brit liner you know Lovely. and uh yeah and i just sit in my ass all day and go on tiktok so it's great it's, it's, <laughs> it's a life that we're living i tell you now it's great but i think during this time it's great i think this during this time it has brought a lot of people more together and made people realize has, that what is and important i think you'll realize that. yeah you'll realize who you miss and who you love and you'll never let them go again you'll never yeah. let them go again like is i there, miss my mom she's in her 70s Oh, I can't go near her, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I go I was, as far as I was the guard and I say that. her. I was literally yeah, about to say that anyone now that you can't... Yeah, I'd get a bottle of wine, put it in a bag, put it at the door and she'd come out and wave it. It's awful. And then Andrew, yeah. my husband's mom, she's in a home. Obviously, we can't go and see her. Yeah, yeah, his yeah. dad is in his 80s. We can't go and see him. It's just like, that part of it is awful. Yeah. I hate I, it. Like, I, I get emotional. See, like, I, really I saw do. a video on Facebook and this guy, um, he he designed this thing where you, you put... um long gloves on all the way up to here yeah and the old woman came out and he made this thing on like um the the clothing line uh the clothes line and he he um she puts her hands in it and he puts his hands in it and they're both hugging but they were you know like they were protected like and she was oh my god i was almost oh my like, god see i can't i can't watch stuff like that i that depresses me and everything i'm just like no i switched yeah. through that now and then when people come all the army coming home and everything i can't watch that i'd be yeah. in freaking floods like no as much as i laugh and have a joke i am very emotional yeah, i would yeah. break down fairly yeah. easy now yeah, you know I'd when be, it comes I'd to stuff like that <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. I missed um, me mother shock and I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with her. Like I need to get this over with quickly. Yeah. And what, what, <laughs> I want to ask as well. I, it's all right if you don't want to um, talk about it. But, um, what, what is your prediction with all this? When do you think this is all going to not go back to normal, but like to the point where it's kind of civilized again? I think it's going to be a couple of years. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I think there's going to be a relapse after, after this stuff now, after phase one. I think people are gone mad. Mm-hmm. a bit mad now and mm-hmm. i'm just afraid I, I can see it going back everything going back another month or two we're going to be set back because i think too much was opened yeah. too many people are getting together now when they shouldn't be i've heard of two cases in drada already today jesus so and i haven't heard of one case in drada in the whole time yeah um and i think that's what i'm afraid of and i think christmas is going to be at home mm. there's going to be no pubs this side of this no. year and if there is i won't be in one yeah. no I can no. tell you now I won't. I think that's an absolute disaster to happen. Yeah. If I know it's horrible. The publicans, I understand. My, my best friends are bar owners and I know what they're going through. But you have to think of people's health. 
And I think if you're in a group of that many people, you're going to wipe the place out. Yeah. And it, it, it is, it did happen. Well, we, we, yeah. it happened all of a sudden, but this has, um, did you see the video where I think it's Bill Gates and he, in 2015, he had a seminar Yeah, and he said yeah, and he that this is going to happen. He? he said, yeah. he, he, he said exactly what's going to happen. It's going to multiply. It's going to yeah. attach to us. It's only going to feed off us. And I watched it and I was yeah. like, this is crazy. Why didn't we prepare crazy. for this? Why didn't we prepare no, because for this? We weren't. Yeah. Nobody was. Nobody was ever prepared for this. And I yeah. think it's going to be with us for a long, long time. Yeah. Unfortunately. It's it's Fair yeah, I think I yeah. think probably <laughs> like I I'd love it to be like oh I'll give it about because the Sp- the Spanish flu, what was that? That was nineteen eighteen to nineteen twenty, was it? Nineteen eighteen to twenty, but I didn't actually start in Spain. Yeah. That started in China. And they caught and they China. called it. Yeah, China. And what happened was China ignored it. And it yeah. just people just got thicker and thicker and then it was the Spanish government that realized something was wrong in Spain mm. and that's why it's called Spanish flu. That's See, nice. I know stuff. Oh that's good, that's good. <laughs> I didn't know that now. Um but yeah, that that something like that happened. Um and it took it two years, but Look Look at us now. We're like in 2020 and we have so much more when it comes to medical. It comes to, you know, uh, yeah. medicine itself. We we could yeah. make um, something much, much faster than way back then. So yeah. I, yeah. I, I have hopes. I don't think it's going to end. I don't think next year we're no. going to be able to do normal. Not until we I think have, about, I think about three years, four years for me. I think, yeah. honestly. Like, yeah, a couple, couple of years. But uh, once the vaccine comes out, it's going to take a year to, to get exactly. everyone vaccinated. Yeah, exactly. So you're still you're still spreading it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So um, yeah, I think it'll take two years. When? I hope I'm not fifty. <laughs> <laughs> when do when do you um? What do you, what do you think of people that say that they do not want to take vaccines because they think the government is controlling them? They think that that's how they're going to die younger. That's how they. That's how they control us as a population. What do you think? I want to get. I want to know. I want to know. I can't. That hurts my ears. I. Yeah. I, I can't. I just. I, that is just the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my whole life. And mm-hmm. I like even my daughter went for that. She had the vaccine for the um for the uh, cervical cancer, mm-hmm. and there was all this thing about oh don't send your children because they're going to get all these side effects. And I said, hang on a second. There's cancer in my family. Cervical cancer in my family. Mm-hmm. My mom, me. I said my daughter's not going to get it. So I sent her for the vaccine and I was look I was frowned upon for that. But yeah. I bother her like that's and she'll never have cervical cancer in her life. Yeah. Never. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I did the right thing. Mm-hmm. People when they say don't get a vaccine, I can't. I just, I just, it's there yeah, it's, for a it's, fucking it's, it's reason. It's, it's really there stupid. to save your fucking life. Exactly. And not even your life. Somebody else's fucking life. Yeah. So that's that's just they you know what they are. It's just oh hippies. I can't be dealing with it. <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> Okay, someone's going to stick a cucumber in the fucking ear or something and think they're going to be well I'm like nah yeah. fuck off take the drugs if I there's a drug yeah. there for something I fucking take it it's like give it to me <laughs> I'm real. I'm real. Par- I don't. I don't like taking like paracetamol and stuff. And, all. and recently, I started <gasps> taking it. I know it's weird, right? And I started taking. It, I was like, this fucking thing is great. It just works. I don't know. As a kid, I just never liked taking it. The tablets. I couldn't swallow the tablets. And recently, I'm I've been doing to it. I, I yeah, that's, yeah. And I oh, had an abscess out there. I am. I hold my hands up. Mm. Yeah. I'm oh, addicted geez. to codeine. Definitely. Oh. Yeah, I have to go. That's what I'm afraid of. This. I shouldn't be saying this, but like, I have to go to different chemists around the town. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Me. Oh, God. No. Fuck. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I, I had an abscess out here a few weeks ago. It was the first time I've had it because my wisdom yeah. too or something like that. And oh, my was that, like, yeah. Hey. And I was like, what? Horrible, what? horrible. And, um, yeah. I had to take tablets for it. But you should have seen yeah. me. I was on the edge of the counter. My man looking at me like, I don't know. Am I Stoned, s- you? I swallow it. I, what happens if I choke? Like, oh, you should see me. You know? Oh, my God, it's mental. Oh, you wouldn't swallow the tablet. Oh, oh my I God. You swallow it. And you should see me every morning going, right, you can do it. And then I go, no, 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 you can't. can't. Oh oh, that God. went on. I, I know. I'm uh, I'm telling you now, I'm one of them people that just, if they see someone sneezing on EastEnders, they go, oh, God, I have a cold. Like, literally, I'm, I'm that bad. I, it's bloody horrible. Oh, well, you, should never, I know. you shouldn't leave your I, fucking house I ever. Know, I know, right? <laughs> embra- embrace it. Embrace it. Um, oh, but sorry, um, I'm kind of going off topic here. But, um, sorry, sorry, sorry. For, for, the, for the likes of um, for the, your videos and stuff like that as well, I want to ask, and for someone that, wants to make more videos i've made comedy sketches i've done little series with different characters that's what i like to do dress up and do voices and stuff and all like that and i've seen it. i've seen them yeah thank you and um oh, of course um 
what how do you how do you keep making newer ones what do you do to keep going because people some people just have a mental block as you said earlier and they're yeah. just like oh, i can't make well, years more. what what it what is it what yeah. how do you do that how do you keep going with that do you know what happens if say i do a good video say i'm going to give you an example right say peppa pig yeah. two years ago right with that that was one of that and the slimming world were the two best best ones right and you have to understand as well. I knew when I did the next one, it was never going to be as good, mm -hmm. right? They never were. Mm -hmm. And there was a part of me saying, right, well, then I'm shit now. There's yeah. no point in doing any more because I can't get, you know, 10 million like I did yeah, last month. And then I stopped doing it for about three weeks. I didn't do anything at all. And I fucking missed it. Shocking. I was nearly yeah. crying. I was like, I oh, know, fuck this shit. I'm doing yeah. something. And I just got up and I did Disney and I did a load of other bits and pieces and they just went fucking mental again. And I think it was just me putting too much pressure on myself. Yeah. And there is days where you say, I'm going to do a video today. What am I going to fucking do? What am I going to do? I've done everything. Yeah. All of a sudden, something just comes into my mind. Mm. It could be something I see on telly or something on the radio. Or someone would say something and I'd go, oh, I have to do a video about that. Yeah. And then I'd be gone out of my car. Yeah. yeah. And I have to do it there and then because I forget. I, I just run and do it. I just yeah. run and do it. There's do you, recently yeah. the one I'm reading the children's books. Yeah, I've seen it, yeah. That someone... So I've won for today, for tonight, like for everybody, because yeah. for Snack on Friday, I was just like, I seen this woman doing, I'm not joking, and I was on my bedroom floor, me pain in my stomach from laughing at the barber, the beaver needs a barber, so it was yeah. the funniest thing ever, and I just thought, there is another one for me now, I can do some children's books, funny children's books, yeah. and that's what I'm doing, and, and that could be a small, like, it. not series, but that could be a small thing that you should keep doing until you go, yeah. well, like, see how much it is I can find, that's cool. Yeah. That's good. I, yeah, I, I until I get a knock like, on the door from a fucking solicitor or something saying you're yeah. being sued for reading the books online. Oh, I'm imagine. like, what? You just need oh, to see those books. You see that okay. you have to be careful. Yeah. Even with Peppa Pig now, I had, you know, okay. YouTube and everything contacted me. Like, you have to be, you have to be very careful. You have to say yeah. all rights or whatever. Yeah. But I didn't do that with these videos. I think, I think these books are piss takes. Yeah. They're not real. Yeah. They can't be no, fucking they, real. No, they, no, no, not for children. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen the videos. Yeah. No, like today, the one today is put Tony's nuts in your mouth. I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> that is mental. That's no, mad. Actually, no, I actually have it here because I've done it today and then the same clothes and everything. Mm. Tony has big nuts and it's about putting Tony's nuts in your mouth. That's not a fucking kiss, but there's something wrong that, there. No, so they can all no. And where do you find all these? Do you find them online or what? what how do you? On YouTube. On YouTube and you there's just. An audio. You see. I, I search on YouTube and there's an audio. You can listen to the audio. And I just typed yeah. <laughs> what she was saying. I put the earphones in and I just typed away. Was it done? Oh, my God. I am going that's, to get in trouble. I know I am. That, Someone's going to knock my fucking mad. door. I'm telling you. Hopefully not. <laughs> Hopefully not anyway. Um, Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Um, we have, we have gone, we're going on a high right now. Sorry that. But yeah. um, in, my, in my podcast, I like to talk about uh, the people before everything and stuff like that as well. So we're, we're, we're going to... the. The energy is going to drop a bit, but I'll bring it back up. I promise. But um, yeah, I, I, you're when, all right. I, when I made videos for ages, um, as you were saying that you don't think them, you know, you know yourself, them the other videos ain't going to do good as uh, one that video that you've done. Mm. And I, I always mm. focused on uh, the views and stuff, and then I realized that it's not important. Mm. It's important when you you're enjoying yourself doing it that's when you become your best yeah. and yeah. um, I, I want to ask as well that you, for the likes of my mental health went bad because i was so focused on doing youtube that i wasn't even bloody getting anywhere with um yeah i was focusing so much on very that. difficult I, and my mental health went so bad and i jesus christ mm. it was man but for the likes of yourself and um, would you like to talk about yourself and the what you've yeah, done sure. so as well please yeah. if you could if you could yeah. talk or so yeah um it's well i suppose i like as i said earlier on i did come from a rogan family my dad left when i was young mm -hmm. um he was left when i was like 13 or something i have a younger brother and sister and they live at home they're still at home with my mom and uh you know i just i think a school was hard friends was hard for me because i they all had their moms and dads and they all had this and there was i just had my mom and my mom had to work and i had to raise my brother and sister and mm -hmm. i didn't have the life everyone else seemed to have not that I felt sorry for myself I didn't it was just my life yeah and then when I turned I done my leaving cert and I knew I said I'm getting out of this country I'm mm. not fucking staying here anymore I need to yeah. get out and do something for myself so I went to live in America mm. and made a life for myself and had a great time came home and 
I came home just for a while to get things sorted and go back over, get my visa. And I was gonna, I was getting a green card and I was staying because I met yeah. a lovely family. I was working for them. And then when the night I came home, we all the girls were waiting on me. And we went out, big night out, and I met my husband. Oh. Do you sometimes <laughs> sit there and go, "You fucking done this to me"? Do you do? Do you sit there? <laughs> That's what you get for dragging me into the corner. Damn you! Like, and uh, that was like '96 or something. That's yeah. just donkeys years ago. I'm I, I was born '95. I would have been one. Oh, I'm, 20, oh my God. I'm 24, almost 25, yeah. I'm 25 in July. Oh, you're, you're only a young baby. But yeah, um, yeah. yeah so then uh, we, obviously that was life. Then we, uh, Life was all about holidays. And I made sure I wasn't going to have the life that my parents had and that I wanted my life completely different. Like, And I was very, very lucky to meet my husband and bought a house, two children, hmm. life. But then, of course, I used to, uh, something just hit me. I don't know what it was. And people say it's because I turned 40. I don't yeah. know if that's true or not, yeah. but it did happen to me. Yeah. I turned 40 and I completely lost it. Yeah. I, compl- I, do, I couldn't tell you. I, I forget everything of my 40th year. I just Jesus. completely lost it. And then I broke down mentally mm. and physically. I couldn't get out of the bed. Mm. And I spoke about this. I've done, I've been to, I've been to um, talks. I've been to everything about this. I don't hide it. I'm yeah. on antidepressants and I'm on them for the rest of my life. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I went to therapy and I don't care. That's what I had to do. That's mm-hmm. what I had to do. And then, um, yeah, and then I obviously you have to understand my husband's human too, and it was hard for him. And we ended up then breaking up, and I was on my own and sharing custody of the kids, and it just got worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And then one day I just completely blacked out, just couldn't do anything. And he literally just dragged me out of bed. He came yeah. in, he wasn't even living yet, and he was like, That's it, get out of the fucking house, put me in the car, yeah. and drove me to Galway, of all places, just in the car, three hours. And I cried for three hours all the way to Galway. And three hours all the way back. Jesus. And I was a different one. That's the truth. And he helped me through it. He got me to the doctor and got me sorted. And the doctor said, you're too hard on yourself, fruit. You know, take these freaking tablets. Don't be a fucking shamed of it. You've yeah. had a bad childhood. You've blocked it all out. That's mm. what's wrong with you. Yeah. You need to move on now with your life. Let the past go mm. and move on. And I, that's what I did. That's what I did. A lot and, of it had to do with my and, past. What, a lot of was it. it. Was it from blocking that past or not? Did not acknowledging it because I know I I started um, a few months ago. I started doing a mental health course where there's a few guys mm. in the room. It's a guys joke, and um, mm. we're heads up. They're called. Um, and mm. they're a really good organization. We do them Mondays and Fridays now on Zoom as well. And uh, they're mm. just really good to support. That's the reason now why I'm gone through a breakup because I don't think I should pull her through that. That's just me and when I when yeah. time is right if we're okay we'll get back and she knows that um, yeah it's still love that, yeah. That. but yeah, yeah but I need yeah. to focus on myself right now and I still have a bit yeah. of, I need to sort out but I'm much better than I you're was. still young as well you're yeah. still young Anthony. Exactly. you know what I mean it, it, you you will you will come out of it like I wish if that had happened to me in my 20s I'd probably be very different today yeah, you know, it just happened yeah. to me much later in life. Mm-hmm. Um, I think you probably the age you are and everything and what you do. I think you'll cope with it well. I think I think you are. I think you're doing what you're you're good at. Mm. You know, I think you're doing this because it helps you. Yeah, and I do. I think you're at a good age where you can you will get over it. You will get over it. You will definitely. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks very much. Yeah. Um, you're welcome. Yeah, for, for, for the likes of that, I'm gonna bring it up now, right? Um, so yeah, please. I, but be, before um, yeah, before that, I I just want to say, like, you know, that from going to a place like that, I have a family member that's still on antidepressants now, and he's he's literally like to me, he's a hero because what he's gone through is mm. holy shit, like that. The fella should be dead, like what he's gone through, yeah. and he is he's my hero, like, and uh, I I don't want to mention who he is or so because I don't think he'd like me no. to. But, He's um, nope, he's uh, he's perfectly. bloody he's Normal. brilliant. Yeah. Um and uh for the likes of for the likes of that, um I just wanna say for someone to go through something like that and then come out of it and then you know, have mm. this life and then starting to uh turn a bad situation into a good situation and getting creative mm. crave with it inside that fucking fair play to you for that because um, <laughs> that's that's so hard. A lot of people do not yeah. a lot of people just can do not do it and they just just keep nope. it a normal yoke and then they go back in and they go back in and out but the likes yourself even if you yeah. do that still it, you still push forward and you make videos for other yeah. people because you understand yeah. what other people go for so fair fucking play exactly. to for that fair yeah play and to. i still have bad days and yeah. like yourself i still have bad days i have good days and bad days and there was times where i'm there going i couldn't be arsed i just couldn't be arsed and then i'd have to say to myself Ruth, get up cop onto yourself like yeah. ring someone go yeah. see someone i know it's hard now with all this i can't go see friends and i can't do anything like that 
Um, but I, that's what I would normally do. I'd say, right, I'd take the keys and say, I'm going out to jail for an hour. And I'd just go out to my friend and yap, 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 yap. And then i go home and feel a hundred times better. Yeah. Just don't sit yeah. on your own. Don't, don't be by yourself. Mm. You know, go see someone. Go do something. Mm. That's my thing. That was it. And then I'd say, right, I've a ruthless video in my head here and I'm doing mm. this tonight. I, I have two little pogs, man, and it. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's so cool! Like two little pogs, and they they messing up. They, that's what so they, they help me to get me sober. And yeah. Um, yeah, that's what I wanted to say before I uplifted it. I um, I know even if we weren't recording, I'd still say that. Yeah, I I I really yeah, would. Yeah. Um, but I, no, see I don't find anything. Well. It is, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I, I see now as well as that you, you, you start to get um, you start to uh, before all this quarantine as well you were going into shops and you are doing trying on dresses and you are modeling for mm-hmm. people what was that like because I, I want to know what that was that like was from comedy in the car uh, to going out trying to people's yeah, clothes to and modeling people. like yeah yeah, yeah. Pl- modeling size clothes right but yeah no it was yeah it was I, be, I think what happened was the likes of draw had been a small town and everything people started to realise hang on a fucking second that's mm. rude but my maiden name was Fallon. That's why people that know me. But like, that's fucking rude, Fallon. Mm. Rude Fallon from fucking Rebel and Park. Like, you know, I'm getting a million views. And then they'd contact me on Messenger or whatever and say, oh, Ruth, you know, we see you have 150,000 followers. You wouldn't come in and do a few pictures. And I'd say, yeah, of course. I always support local businesses and I love to support yeah. my town, yeah. you know? And I do betting for them. And mm. the last one that I did was the, I did a competition for a trip to Rome. Now, obviously, before the shit hit the fan, we weren't going to send anyone to fucking roll now. Yeah. Um, and it just went fucking berserk. People, people from India were flying, and I was like, eh, you know what? I'll go play for your fucking flights from India over to Ireland. You're flying from Dublin. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah, went yeah. ballistic. And then, you know, Arrow Tours, they're lovely. And then they gave me a holiday to Lanzarote, which I couldn't go on. So, you know, Right like now, that. right now. I know. This morning. Fucking it's. I've never, I've been to Wales. Um, um, Wales, Edinburgh, and Bristol. That's ever I've ever been in my life. I've never been somewhere sunny, and it's my first ever time doing it, and I can't go. And but it's all right. Fucking terrible! Said, I'm telling you, text, I get fucking to talk terrible. to you. Thank fucking God. Do you know what I mean? Because <laughs> this, this is what I do now. This is what I want to do. I like, I like talking yeah. to people, get to know people. Interest, it's so interesting. And keep it- you know get as many people on get them all talking because this is all we have like yeah. all people have is social media right now it's mm. it's your it's your interaction with the fucking outside world yeah. because you can't do yeah. anything there's no social life so i think a lot of social life people now is their phones it's so it's 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 social media so yeah. that's why if you're doing this it's great to see someone different every week or whenever you do it mm. you know what i mean monday to friday and i get a guest on again yeah. a day and um, yeah. they'll come out Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 11 in the morning. So it gives them from right. the morning onto the evening, you know, and stuff like that as well. But yeah. I try to get yeah. as much different people on as I can up to 100 episodes. Yeah. I think this will be the 60th episode. Um, and yeah. then you know, the likes of that. Yeah, thanks very much. Mm. Um, but, but, yeah. for the, but for the likes of uh, that, I want to ask as well, because you mentioned it earlier. Jeez. What is it about Pepper Pig <laughs> that you do not like? I fucking hate her. I fucking hate everything about Peppa Pig. I hate the fucking music. I hate the daddy. I hate the mammy. I fucking hate little George. I fucking hate them all. I just, my kids were reared on Peppa Pig and I think yeah. it just drove, that's what drove me to depression. I'm convinced. I fucking hate it. And mm. I think the two lads, I know they're multi, multi, multi millionaires, the Neville brothers. I get it. But fuck me, that's low shit. Right? Yeah. No, I used to turn it off and just say, yeah, watching fucking Cinderella. I'm turning here's, that shit here's off. A question for you. No, I made them watch friends. You made them watch friends? I made me kids when they were young watch Friends. Yeah. I put them in the high chairs and stick on fucking Friends. Nah, You're yeah, better off. Better off than that show <laughs> anyway. Uh, but here's the here's question, right? Would you rather have yeah. to sit there every day, right, relive it when they were kids, and every day, right, watch Peppa Pig or watch Dora the Explorer? Dora the Explorer, any day. No. <laughs> See that bitch? I'm like, that's my gym with Peppa Pig. I don't like her. She's like, no, no, no. I used to love the movie. No, I right even wanted to see the movie and I looked and I loved it. Like Dora the Explorer was brilliant. Yeah, oh, no, man. definitely give me Dora and Diego any day. Peppa can fuck right off. <laughs> I used to sit there. My brothers and sit. I'll be the oldest of. There's five of us, and then there's me man. Oh, and, that, and then yeah, it was yeah. So I'm the oldest of us, oh, and uh, the kids would have to watch uh, either Peppa Pig or Dora. Peppa Pig or Dora. Uh, and. They'd be literally behind, and Dora be there going, Boots, do you know where the log is to help the girls? They live. <laughs> and I'm just there going, I'm there going, it's right there. Just keep going. It's, it's right smiling. there. Yeah. It yeah. You have a fucking map. Will you fucking read it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this thing fucking bouncing around your backpack, fucking talking, and you can't even hear it. Read the fucking map. <laughs> oh, 
Sam, will you? Fireman Sam. Get to watch Fireman Sam. That's even funnier. Yeah, Fireman Sam. Jesus. All them kids. What do you think now that the kid shows back then uh, were what you've watched compared to now? What do you What do you think about that as well? That is it. <laughs> Well, the likes of what I watched, I used to watch He Man. <laughs> oh, I don't even know what that fucking is. I'm don't, so yeah, yeah, of course you fucking don't. <laughs> like, and then we used to have Thunder, the Thundercats. Yeah, I remember. And Postman Pass. Yeah. <laughs> I loved Postman Pass. It was so cool. Better back then. The Teletubbies yeah. and everything. They were much yeah. better back then. I was reared so, yeah, on Tom Barney. Jerry was my favorite. I was reared on Barney. No. I was reared on. Uh, no. What was it? Barney, uh, Rosie and Jim, um, oh, all Jesus. that type of stuff. That's what I was reared on. Yeah. And I only listened to that oh. Rosie song, Jim, the other day. It got shared on Facebook. I'm, I'm not messing. The oh, amount yeah, of memories Jim. that flooded back. And I was like, yeah, it comes back. Yeah, and I but even knew the, the song. And I was like, like oh. yeah, yeah. The yeah, I'd watch The Simpsons when I was a teenager and, you know, Rugrats and all that yeah. kind of stuff. But the stuff now is just gone. It's loaded. Like, yeah, it's, it's loaded. Really yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they're all spoiled little rats. Like. I, w- I want to ask as well, right? Before we get into the last segment, I want to ask: do you, do, you, yeah. do you hear of a girl called Jojo Swain? I think her name is Swan. Jojo, I think her name is. She With the is big an ribbon American. in her hair. She has the ribbon. Yeah, the big ribbon thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think of her? <laughs> to be honest, all I on. know is no, All I know is I know the young girls loved her and all that, right? Yeah. But a uh, good friend of ours, right? His daughter is since she's five and she's obsessed with Jojo, right? She's booking every colour ribbon under the sun for her hair bow, big bow, right? Yeah. And she played in Ireland last year at a concert mm. in Dublin and he had to go to it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> he came up to us the next day and he got pissed. He said, never, ever, 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 ever again. <laughs> oh, he said, it was the worst thing he ever went to in his life. Like, oh, no, so thank God, my kids. I passed that fucking age. Yeah. I went to One Direction. Nile, Nile Horan, they're fucking brilliant. <laughs> yeah. oh, One Direction was grand now. Um, oh, like, Nile Horan was the best concert I've ever had. I used to go out with a girl. Um, she lived in Sligo. And uh, yeah. she, was, she liked One Direction. And yeah. I remember one day just sitting there. I, I was sitting up in her room. And she goes, do you want to see something? And I goes, yeah. And I'm not messing, Ruth. She pulled out a life-size cardboard of all of the lads and goes, I'm literally obsessed. And she had bed sheets of it. And I was just like, Come here. Like it. Mad. Like, yeah, I'll see you like, Bye. <laughs> like, I, didn't, I, 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 I didn't do that. I didn't say bye for that, but like, I was just like, this is a bit fucking weird. Like, what the, what the hell? Like, the lads are there at the back of the room watching when you're asleep or something. It's so weird. Oh, um, no. It wouldn't have me. It's so strange. Uh, no, but yeah, no, she's a, Jess is a massive Niall Horan fan, so yeah. she, I just say to sometimes you never know jess i know you hate me in my videos you hate niall horan could look at my videos one day i said what are you going to say to that like you know yeah. as if she said yeah. <laughs> you never really, know, you never know. You never know. i guarantee he's watched them already i guarantee he saw them i, I know that all of, i know yeah. most of ireland has seen your videos by now and i i, think, I know i can't reassure that but i get i know for a fact most of ireland seeing your videos they the the young mm. Uh, people as well even the older people as well you know and it's good that you have uh, an audience yeah. of younger and older people it's just not i have really younger good. and older yeah. yeah that's really good that's that's really good yeah. that you can get that and then yeah. Um, yeah but that that's what i wanted to ask so but we're going to get into the last segment now and i, I okay I, i'm starting to do this but um so guys <laughs> it's that time again it's ghost stories Ooh, scary Right, so Ruth. Oh, this, Jesus. No, Ruth, right? This is my favorite part. Of, well, not favorite part, but favorite okay. part of the podcast, right? I have two questions. One, do you believe in an afterlife um, or yes. reincarnation or so? And two, do you have a ghost story you can tell? Yes. Oh, my God. This is perfect. This is perfect. Right, you on. know what? It's, I actually shook. I, I haven't spoken about this in a while, but it wasn't even, it wasn't even me that seen it. Now, that doesn't mean that not what even. I'm saying is me and, the, me and my husband at the time were going to buy a bar in Spain. In Calador, right? That was the plan. That was the dream. We were going to go live in Spain, live the life. So we went over and we saw the bar and we were had our money ready and we had everything done. And we had this fellow, he was like a guide. And he was guiding us through the city and the whole a beautiful place. And we were staying in this apartment. And he said, look, his, his apartment was underneath. So we were up and he was like, right, you can stay in there. Kitchen, bedroom, beautiful place. Three days. Lovely. The first night, right, it started to rain. It was March. Mm. I was like, oh, for fuck's sake, like, we, mm. let's just stay in and watch DVDs or whatever. So we watched, I remember it well. Austin Powers and Romy and Michelle. I don't know if you remember any of them. I know anyway, Austin Powers, yeah. Two of my favourite movies, right? Mm. So we put them on, got a bottle of wine, you know, got food, loved it, and went to bed. Of course, I was pissed drinking fucking wine because I always mm. am when I drink wine. And I passed out, yeah. right? So the next morning, got up, I was dying with the thirst. I said, get water, I need water, water, whatever. And 
I was trying to move Andrew and I was like, will you move? And he goes, he just give me a few minutes, he said. And I was like, I said, what's wrong with you? Whatever. And he goes, I'll just give me a few minutes. Mm. I was like, what the fuck? And he looked weird. I don't know, he was pale or something. And I was like, what the fuck's going on? So I know we finally got up there and got ready and we had to go for dinner and stuff. He was very quiet. And I was like, what's wrong with you? Do you not want to do this? I thought it was the whole Spain thing. He was getting yeah. second thoughts and that. And he goes, from, to the root, I just, I'm telling you now, he said, I'm not staying in that apartment tonight. I said, why? He said, I didn't want to say it to you. And we didn't say it that night. We went somewhere else. Yeah. He said, I'm telling you now. He said, you were fast asleep. He said, I woke up to go to the toilet and I couldn't move. He couldn't move his body. He said he was just completely still. And he was like, what's up? He said, Par- paralyzed. They couldn't yeah. move. Yeah. Like, what the fuck you could feel? And it was freezing. He said, it yeah. was fucking freezing. I was snoring my brains. He said, looked over at me and I was snoring my brains. I had a clue. He said, he looked down the bottom of the bed and there was a man standing at the bottom of the bed. What the? F- and he just said, he said he had one of them hats on, you know, like Zorro, you know, like the Spanish, yeah. Spanish bull, you know, the bullfighting and they wear these yeah. hats. He said he was just standing there. He, he didn't do anything. He said, but Ruth, I couldn't move my body. I was like, what? And he said, I closed my eyes, opened my eyes. He was still there. He said, the second time I did it, he just disappeared. I was like, and you fuck. And I said, you never woke me. He said, sorry, Pete. He goes, imagine if I had awoke you and you fucking saw I'd be gone out the window. I'd fucking fucking right Zorro out the window. Zorro, I'm telling gone. you. And he, he's the most skeptical person. He'd look at people that say stuff and he'd go, would you ever fuck off? Like, yeah. he is adamant that that's what he saw. That's mad. To this day, that scared the shit out of him. Even the plane ride home, he was like, so I can't believe I actually saw something. Don't know what it was, but it was something. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, I, that's my whole story. I haven't said that fucking brilliant story by the way um, <laughs> thank god you had a story because no. some people are saying nah I don't believe we didn't, we didn't move to Spain anyway we fucking yeah, stayed yeah, in yeah, Ireland yeah. <laughs> stay here yeah um, but I, I had a recently um, a neighbour of mine passed uh, where my ma and dad live and we went to the funeral and I, I haven't said this yet on the, on the I haven't I don't share ghost stories but if I think one I'll, I'll say it but I remember sitting there we were down the back and his coffin was there and everybody was getting up getting the bread but they had this big huge banner right there right and his face was on it so the priest is there and he's giving out the fucking bread and he's, he's you know what I mean and the old ones are like ah, and they're like doing that right and <laughs> so basically what happened was is that I remember I, I looked down I was on my phone I looked up and I swear to God my face went why and I, I know what I saw I his fuck the guy that was in the coffin there was nothing nothing but I could see just pure fucking light and his face where the priest was just like that. And I just went, and then it was gone. I went like that one. What the fuck? Like, and I'd say hello to this guy and I know who he is, but I wouldn't really, I wouldn't be, it wouldn't be a, a, like when someone dies, you, you know when people can hallucinate and you can see yeah. I was yeah. like, just, I was just like, right, this is, I know it's bad to say, but it's like, right, someone's died, I'll pay respects. But I remember just doing that and then looking down, I got a text and I look back up and he's just like, and I just went oh my like that god. real fast and he just disappeared he fucking disappeared oh my god and it no, was no, terrifying and my dad no, my dad was sitting beside me my Sorry. friend Dave and my dad just goes you are right what's wrong with you and he goes your face and he goes yeah. and I just go yeah and I was just bang I go just after like, sorry. Yeah. my dad my dad now would be a type of person that he believe in stuff like that as well and stuff, mm. you know. And um, same as your husband, he saw that as well. He mm. saw someone at the end of his bed, just a woman just looking at him, like, and, mm. you know, the likes mm. of that. And um, it just that's the first ever time I've seen something like that. But the way you were saying with your husband, where he was still on the plane, he was still on the plane, and he, yeah, he, he was still, he was still thinking, he, I was like that throughout the he whole day. He was talking like, about that for a long time, yeah, it's yeah. mad. It's and, I, and I still say to him, Why didn't you wake me? And he goes, Are you fucking mad? I'd I would have been not. gone, the guards would be called yeah. and everything. No, fuck that. I wouldn't, like, have, no. I wouldn't, I wouldn't no, keep you wake me. No. Yeah, no, no, don't wake me. <laughs> um, but that, that um, so this podcast. Story. This podcast has been brilliant. Um, I was nervous. I'm going to be honest. I was nervous. I was come on, but when oh, when, when we start to time. talk, when we start to talk, when the record before the recording, I was like, right, grand. I'm a bit is now. And then I started becoming. Yeah. I, this is who I am. This is the way I am when I talk to someone. Usually, I'm like, yeah. hello, how are you? When I get real nervous, but now this is me. I'm a bit. Of a <laughs> <laughs> That's tall. I, so, I just want to say, delighted the jazz, you know. Yeah, I was. I was. I. I have to say now because of. I know this sounds weird, but because of who you are and what you do, I'd be like, right, I don't think this girl's going to have time mm. for this and stuff like that and, and stuff. But I, I chanced it. I said, if you don't ask, you don't get. So mm. I chanced it. No, yeah. I've done it loads of times. I, yeah. I've asked, and if I didn't ask, I didn't get. 
very yeah. fucking simple and you have to be you have to have brass balls in this fucking mm. business you just have to because yeah. you're going to get knocked back after knocked back and i did loads and loads and loads of times and you just have to pick yourself back up and get just keep going mm. and then i only started doing my stand-up tour in freaking yeah. april and it was all cancelled because of the real virus like i'm starting in dundalk and i was going all around ireland and i was so excited and i had yeah. them all all fucking gone but i'll move on I'll, I'll start it again next year you know when you, when you started your stand-up i started doing stand-up as well i started my mute and my last ever show because i some guy saw me in um the ko comedy club in town and he invited yeah, me to yeah. go to Navin. So I had to go to Navin mm. with me, me girlfriend at the time. Um, yeah. And we performed in Navin. It was fucking brilliant. And uh, oh, for the likes of that, um, but when I, my last ever gig before all this happened, it was my first time bombing. Like, yeah, me not doing well. And I goes, oh, shit. Yeah. I, I can't wait Nothing. now to finish this because every other yeah, gig back. went yeah. brilliant. It went brilliant. Yeah. But, um, I yeah. just can't wait to get when this is over or it's acceptable to go yeah. into comedy club again because I, I just I can't wait. That's yeah. something I'm gonna focus on a lot. You get me? Um, but I do want to say, it. I miss it now. yeah, it's it's really good. It's a different experience from doing a video and yeah. seeing comments to actually seeing them people there and reacting and laughing. Them in front of you, yeah, yeah, laughing yeah. at you and everything. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I fucking take that. I get that mic and I just can't put it down. I just yeah. can't put it down. Just yeah, it's it's, 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 it's oh, like a high. Like this, you know, and you're like, nah, fuck off. It's yeah, like, some fella done this with me and. And he goes, you only have 10 minutes. And I got 20 minutes because I was getting, the, I got the crowd that good. And uh, but I, 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 I want to say um, thanks very much for coming on and doing the podcast. Um, Absolutely no problem. I really, I really, really appreciate it. And um, good. Good. is there anything Every you'd like time. me to, uh, good, perfect. Um, <laughs> is there anything you'd like me to plug down below and um, like your Facebook and so um, that Instagram? Just if you want to just say totally rootless or whatever follow a totally rootless that's what i do on instagram tiktok obviously yeah, TikTok and as well, uh, yeah. yeah people with me just tell people you want to have a bit of a laugh that's all you do wake up in the morning get your cup of coffee turn mm -hmm. on your phone watch yeah. a couple of videos sort you out for the rest of the day yeah perfect perfect so guys and um, thanks so much <laughs> for watching this episode of the ra podcast um um, hopefully, hopefully down the line we can have you back on, Ruth. Uh, when you're when yeah. is over and you're doing more of the stand up, Anytime. and we can talk about your stand up gigs and when you travel again and so. Yeah. But guys, remember, it's not the yeah. best podcast, but it's not the worst podcast. It's just an <laughs> podcast. Guys, thanks Anyone. for watching. Peace. See you, Paris. Thanks, Anthony. No bother.